Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing any like makeup or any challenge or any review of anything right now. Um, I just was thinking about it and I decided that I wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys about the message of self-love. I know it's kind of random, but I feel like, I don't know if it's because I'm a girl and I'm in my early 20s kind of a thing or like if it's just the people that I'm around that I kind of feel like should be hearing this message or just like in general like people need to hear this message sometimes you know so lately some of the people that I have that I'm friends with or who you know that I talk to a lot or whatever have been having some issues when it comes to like their self-confidence, which I totally understand. Like it happens to all of us. We're human, you know, it happens. And so I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that everybody has flaws. Nobody on this planet is perfect. And if somebody claims that they're perfect, I think there's another issue underlying that. But anywho, so I just wanted to tell you guys if there's anything about yourself that you don't like, or that you like you feel like like that's something that like you focus on all the time I want you guys to try and focus instead of that try to focus on all the things that you really like about yourself and just start complimenting yourself every day even if it's once a day just compliment yourself on something that you love about yourself because that is such a great way to build your self-confidence because if you stop giving what you believe to be your flaws so much attention that it's self-deprecating to you if you stop doing that and you just start trying to be more positive about yourself, it's going to make you feel better. It is going to lift your self-confidence when you continuously say positive things about yourself. And even like my dad even says, like, don't say, don't even joke about like things about yourself. Like you're like, oh my gosh, I hate my legs or I hate the way that my hair looks or whatever. Even if you're joking about it, like your brain doesn't know that you're joking. So it's like, regardless, just try and take whatever negativity you have about yourself and put that energy into focusing on positive things about yourself because your time is so much better spent i hope that's the right wording i don't know but your time is so much better spent when you're focusing on all the great things about yourself because then not only are you complimenting yourself but you're also probably improving on those things that you consider to be flaws you know so like i don't know i just feel like as a person my age like my generation I feel like we're all very aware that we have our flaws and everybody is so concerned about being humble and being like not narcissistic that we just start degrading ourselves to make sure that we don't feel like we're boasting you know and I just feel like that's really sad because first of all you're allowed to say positive things about yourself you're allowed to be like wow like I really like this about myself or wow I look really good today you know and I feel like it's just really important to recognize because so much more attention is constantly being given to things that we don't like about ourselves like there are things that i don't like about myself completely but i try not to pay much attention to it because it doesn't do anything for me to pay attention to that like if it's something that i can actually work on and improve myself with then like yeah i'll do different things to improve myself from that level but it's like if there's something like physically that you don't like about yourself don't just keep staring in the mirror and just be like wow i hate that i look like this like that's so bad for your self-esteem and your confidence because i am sure that there are so many people who are beautiful people inside and out that don't think that they're worthy of loving themselves because they're so concerned with everybody else's image and everybody else's thoughts on them like stop worrying about what everybody else is thinking stop worrying about it because i guarantee you you're the only person that is so concerned with your personal flaw or what you consider to be your personal flaw than they are everybody else is focused on themselves because they are focusing on parts of themselves that they don't like so like everybody just needs to like chill like i want everybody to like just breathe for a second and just realize that like first of all nobody on this planet is perfect it just it's not a thing no one is perfect and so if you can get that in your head and stop thinking that like oh everybody else is paying all this attention to me first of all y'all you know not that many people are like oh my god what is wrong with them no one is as concerned with your flaw or what you deem to be your flaw as you are because it's your personal thing you're the one dealing with it it's affecting 
your self-confidence and your self-esteem and I don't know and I'm not saying like oh I have all the self-confidence but like I mean I guess being after going through college I learned a lot about myself and I just feel like I've definitely become a more positive person since high school and I don't know if that's because of the people that I was around or what but I just feel like if you're gonna pay attention to the things about yourself really focus on the things that make you happy and that make you smile because that's just gonna make you all around a more positive person, you know? Like, if you focus on all these negative things, that's gonna make you, like, depressed. Don't do that to yourself. And it just bothers me that there are so many amazing people out here that are self-deprecating and feel like they're not worthy of anything or, uh, you know what I mean? Like, love yourself. Like, if you can't love yourself, nobody else can love you more than you love yourself, you know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of people deal with this type of stuff, like, when they want relationships or something like that and it's like they're having a problem with themselves and they think that someone else giving them that love is going to solve the problem and then they're in a relationship and it's like they're that problem is still there it's like you can't expect somebody to love you if you don't love yourself in the first place it's not going to happen so you know i just think that that's an important message for you guys to to really sink in like if there's anybody out there who's thinking that you know there's things about themselves that they haven't liked for a really long time, whether it's, you know, a personality trait or a physical thing. You know what, first of all, physical things can be worked on. Easy. That's not something that anybody should be concerned about because they can change it. You can change it. And I know, like, if it's something to the point where it's like, if you feel like you need to cosmetically, like, change something, like, if it really will make you feel better, by all means go and do that like if you are like if you like hate your nose and it's like the most like you cannot stand looking at yourself in a mirror and you're just like oh my god i can't do this anymore by all means go get that nose job if you have if you hate your eyelashes and you're like oh my god like these are just the most pathetic eyelashes i've ever seen by all means go get some lash extensions like there's nothing wrong with that if there's cosmetic stuff that you really feel every day like that is what's going to make you feel better about yourself that's totally fine, but then don't rely on cosmetic advances to make you feel beautiful. Like, I love makeup, and makeup definitely gives me a great confidence, but when I was in high school, you would not catch me going to school without makeup on. That was never going to happen. And now, like, when I got to college, I was like, who am I trying to impress here? Like, no one cares what I look like with or without makeup. Like, the only reason that I'm so concerned about that is because I'm worried about what I look like without makeup to other people. And when you stop worrying about other people and trying to impress other people, that's gonna make you feel so much better. And then people are gonna be amazed by the fact that, like, you're confident enough to go out and just, you know, not worry about, like, obviously, like, don't, you know. There are all days where we're like, okay, I'm gonna wear sweats and a tank top and, like, I don't care. But I'm just, like, obviously, like, you know, take care of yourself, but, like, don't feel like you have to have this image of you're constantly like perfectly dressed and you always have the best makeup and your hair is flawless like stop being so concerned with that you know what I mean like I've known so many people in my life that are like oh my gosh I hate this about myself and I'm like okay well if you hate it yourself so much for this thing and a if it's physical girl go change it dude go change it like there are things that you can do you know, like, if you have a goal of, like, I really want to lose 25 pounds in the next four or five months, it's achievable. You can do it. And so that's something else that I feel like people don't understand is that if it's something that you can physically change and you know that you can change it, don't make yourself mad about the way that you currently look because you know it's changeable. You know what I mean? Like, if you know for a fact that there's something you can do about it, then you shouldn't be stressing about it to begin with because you know you can go and do something. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just want to make sure that everybody who watches this video feels like they are worthy of loving themselves because there is no reason why anybody else should be making you feel like you're not worthy of loving yourself because that is not acceptable. If there's anybody in your life that's making you feel like you're not enough, that's their problem. You got to cut that ish out of your life because you don't have time for toxic people we don't have time for that it's 2019 that we're not we don't do that stuff anymore so i just really wanted to like 
get this out because I feel like so many people need to hear it from time to time and it happens randomly like not everybody feels this way all the time but sometimes you have your moments and sometimes you just don't feel great about yourself and it happens it's human so like you're allowed to not feel great about yourself because everybody has an off day everybody has an off week it happens so don't feel bad about yourself if you're feeling bad about yourself you know what I mean because it's like if it's a moment where you're like oh my gosh like I'm just not having the best day you know what I mean like you just have to remember that like you're gonna have a better day you're gonna have a better week you're gonna have a better month stuff you know what I mean so it's like it's not the end-all be-all right now it is not so don't freak out so much about something that's all for the most part in your head I just really want everyone to understand that message and also if even if I don't know you and like you follow me on one of my accounts or whatever and you need like a good like self-love like motivational thing hit me up comment on my post something and I will give you like 10 million reasons why you deserve to be worthy of yourself you know what I mean so just remember that there are people in your life who will tell you the things that you need to hear being somebody who has a makeup channel like it's really easy for me to like come on here and spout all this stuff about like love yourself like you're beautiful and all that because it's like yeah I wear makeup all the time but it's like don't rely on something so much to where that's where your confidence comes from don't rely on another person especially for your confidence or for your happiness because that's not healthy and so if you like need to have just self-care day or you do anything for yourself that you want to do I don't care if it's lying in your freaking bed and you want to watch Netflix all day long if that's what you need to do to just like recharge and just take a minute for yourself do it if you need to you know go run three miles because you're just like I, I have energy like I feel like I'm, I'm not doing anything driving me crazy and I'm, like bothering me get that out like go like I just want to make sure that everybody understands that no matter what flaws you feel that you have about yourself or that you think other people think about you don't let that inhibit you from doing things that you want to do because you're so concerned about those flaws. I don't think that that's healthy and I don't think that you should allow yourself to not do things because you're so afraid of what other people might think of you or because you're so afraid of, of like that one thing being the most prominent noticeable thing, you know? So just remember that, you know, everybody has flaws. Nobody's perfect. Sometimes life, you, you know, you have a bad day, you have a bad week. So just make sure that you're telling yourself positive messages, you're saying good things about yourself, you know, don't give those flaws the amount of attention that you're giving them. Give that to something positive because that's going to make you feel better and it's going to build your confidence. It might take a while, but it'll build your confidence. And so I think that's really all I have to say. I know I was kind of rambling for 15 minutes, but I just really wanted to get that off my chest. So if there's anybody out there who is having a rough time right now and sees this video, I hope that this made you feel better. I hope that this made you realize you're not alone because I promise you if you're feeling something, 10 million other people out here are feeling the exact same thing. So don't be afraid to talk to somebody if you're feeling like you're having a bad week, if you're just not feeling great about yourself, talk to somebody. You know, it's it's always better to talk to somebody else about this because they're going to tell you what you need to hear. And I promise you almost all the time, well at least I hope all the time, it's going to be positive affirmations about yourself. So just remember that. You are in your own head. You are your own worst enemy when it comes to self-deprecation. Hence the word self-deprecation. Um, but yeah, so if you are in that headspace, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit, made you think about some of the more positive things that you have going on, and that it made your day a little bit better. So again, if anybody needs any positive messages, please feel free to hit me up. I will not hesitate to send you some great positive motivational, you know, novel about how great you are. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and say that really quickly. Um, so obviously this video was a little bit different than the videos that I usually do, but if you liked this video and you liked the message and you just are happy with watching this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way when I post new videos you're notified and you get to see some more, hopefully f more fun content than what this conversation was. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be 
going back to doing more fun videos like makeup and reviews and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> i think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye